Hey everybody, this is Jake. I got a couple requests for how to automate uh, like live stock data. Um, and so I thought I should make a quick video on how to do that. This is uh, the unrefined version of how to do this. This is just, I saw like four or five comments all at, like really fast back, back to back of people asking how to pull in live stock data and how to just make it, you know, up, update automatically. Um, so this is like, if you have no time on your hands and you needed something done right now, this is my solution to it. Um, I record these videos at night during my time, which means the U.S. stock market is closed. Uh, I just don't have time to record these videos during the day when the U.S. stock market is open. So I'm pulling the Hang Seng, which is the Chinese index, uh, just so that we can have some actual live data so we can see this is actually working. Um, so what I did is I just pulled up... Here, I'll move it real quick. Uh, the... Uh, no, that's something else so I pulled up uh, Google Finance that's I'm just do finance.google.com slash finance because that's the only way to get there and then HSI is the Hang Seng so HSI so pulled this I went and copied this URL um, you can do this for any stock you want so if you're trying to do the US stock market you can just you can do it it's just right now the market's closed so I'm using a market that's open so we can see it update automatically so I went over here, um, started from just a blank slide or a blank blank page. I'll actually just start completely from scratch. Um, so we do a new one there. So what you can do is uh, you actually don't even need to record a macro for this. Um, you can if you want, but there's you know not really need to. You can do uh, pull data from web. Uh, I'm gonna go back real quick just so I kind of did that quick. Uh, under the data tab, you go from web. And then opens kind of a browser, um, not really like a Chrome or Firefox or any kind of browser. It's just the, the one that's built into Excel. Go ahead and paste your URL in there. If you get warnings and stuff, you can hit cancel or continue. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and then you'll see these little arrows. We've already done this in previous videos, but just for any new viewers, uh, these little arrows are how to import data. So you click that one to make it a green check. You hit import, and it'll import uh, just like it normally does. But instead of hitting OK, go to properties enable the refresh so refresh um, the default is every hour but we're gonna do every minute save the query and then also overwrite existing data otherwise every time it pulls in new data it's just gonna keep filling up your sheet and that's not useful so we do overwrite existing you can name it if you want not really gonna deal with that hit OK and then I'm still gonna put it in a one and hit OK and now since I imported the entire page all of the the Google Finance page it actually pulls it way down here into cell B41. I don't need all that, but because I have it updating all the time, it's just going to keep pulling in all the same data. So I just go to sheet two, and I go equals uh, sheet one exclamation point B, I think it was 41 if I remember that right. There you go. And so that's the Hang Seng. And now there you go, you just saw it update. Every time you edit a cell, it'll update. So if you just wait a second. Uh, and try to just kill some time right here. You'll see this number will change automatically. There you go. And so you see it updated. I actually have to do a cut right there because it only updates every one minute. And having on a YouTube video, having one minute of straight silence while you wait for a number to change is worthless. So I'm going to put a cut there so it'll look like it happened really fast. But it actually takes about a minute for it to update. So you just wait one minute, it'll update the, 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 the price right there. And you can have it come in automatically. You can just have like a bunch of tickers all update frequently. And then you can just have a list and it'll just give you a live stock price right there. Uh, if you wanted to write a macro to, to pull in, um, like give you a trailing history or something, you can do that too. It's a little more complicated. Maybe that's something, if there's some demand for that, I can show a video on how to do that in the future. But uh, I'm trying to keep this video relatively short, hopefully under five minutes. Um, so you can kind of get back to your day, but you can at least know how to get in live data. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment, and thanks for watching.